So, so some of them end up working out very nice, uh, where you end up with the perfect square number inside of the root, and you could continue uh, to do all the math and get two nice answers. But some of them you can't, and you're going to have to reduce your final fraction that's, that also has a radical in it. So like number two or number nine, those have uh, radicals in them that you can't, uh, that don't have perfect square numbers on the inside of the square root. So let's do number two. The A value is one. The B value is negative six. The C value is negative 11. So let's plug in our B value of negative six right here and right here. The A value is one right there and right there. What's happening to my pen? It's not working that good. Um, and also the uh, C value is negative 11. And simplifying this, you'd have the plus plus that becomes a regular six. Plus or minus the square root of, now on the inside of the square root, the discriminant value is what's very important. When you do negative six squared, that's positive 36. And when you go negative four times one, that's negative four times negative 11, that's positive 44. And it's still all divisible by 2a, which is two times one, which is just the regular two. So um, what is 36 plus 44? That's 70, 80? It's 80, right? So what we have is 6 plus or minus the square root of 80 divided by 2. Now what we need to do is try to simplify that square root of 80. It would be nice if it were the square root of 81, because then you'd have a plus or minus 9, which you could add and subtract 9 from 6 and then divide by 2. But 80 is not a perfect square number, so you're going to have to simplify the square root of 80. Now you could break it down to 4 times 20. 4 is a perfect square number, but the better option would be to use the biggest perfect square number possible, which would be 16 times 5. So when you split the root, the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of 5 stays the square root of 5. So this is kind of like a side problem that we had to do to replace the square root of 80 with 4 square root of 5. So let's do exactly that. Let's replace the square root of 80 with 4 square root of 5. <coughs> Bless you. Now, at this point, um, you can't really add or subtract 4 square root of 5 with 6. I mean, you could if you did a decimal approximation. But at this point, you have three terms right here, 1, 2, 3, and they're all divisible by 2. So that's how we're going to reduce this fraction. We're going to reduce it all by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So there's our answer, 3 plus or minus 2 square root of 5 over 1. But we know that over 1 is not necessary. So you could just write it without the over 1. So it's going to be 3 plus or minus uh, 2 square root of 5. And that's it. That's your answer for number 2. Now, like I said, sometimes you get nice, perfect square numbers. Like if this would have been 81, then you'd have a 6 plus 9 divided by 2, and then a 6 minus 9 divided by 2, if this were the square root of 81. But because it's not a perfect square number, all you do is uh, simplify that square root as far as you can, and then reduce all three terms at the same time. Would you like to see another one? Or are we good? Now, number 9, 9 ends up being the same kind of situation. Let's take a look at number 9. In order for you to identify A, B, and C, you have to have it in standard form set equal to zero. So let's get rid of that 10x by subtracting 10x. And what you do to one side, you do to the other side. So we're going to rewrite the whole thing. 4x squared minus 10x plus 5 equals zero. Now we know that our A value is 4, our B value is negative 10, and our C value is 5. And when we use a formula, let's plug in uh, the values into the parentheses. Let's first replace the, the letters with parentheses. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. So the b value is negative 10. That goes on both positions right there. The a value is 4, goes up there and down there. And the c value is 5 at the very end. Again, let's focus in on the discriminant. 
What is negative 10 in parentheses squared? That's 100. Let me just jot down 100 right here. And then over here on the other side, what is 4 times 4? That's 16. And 16 times 5, that is 80. And of course, you could use a calculator. So what we really have is 100 minus 80. Okay? So I'm just, I'm doing the discriminant right here. And 100 minus 80 is 20. So what I really have here is a positive 10 plus or minus the square root of 20 divided by 2 times 4, which is 8. Now, again, the square root of 20, you need to try to simplify that. It would be nice if this would have been the square root of 25, right? Or maybe even the square root of 4. Because if it were the square root of 4, you'd have 10 plus 2 and then divided by 8, and then 10 minus 2 divided by 8, if it were the square root of 4. But it's the square root of 20, and you, you don't have a nice answer when you do the square root of 20. But we could simplify it at the very least. Let me write it up here. The square root of 20, you could break that down to 4 times 5, and when you split the root, you're going to end up with 2 square root of 5. So this is some work that we do on the side to replace the square root of 20 with 2 square root of 5. So I want to replace square root of 20 with 2 square root of 5. Here it is. 10 plus or minus 2 square root of 5 divided by 8. Now you have, again, nothing else to do except for reducing this fraction. You have a 10, a 2, and an 8. You're going to divide all of them by what? You're going to reduce all by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. There's our answer. 5 plus or minus. You don't need a 1 square root of 5. You could just not put the 1. You could erase the 1. And it's still over 4 instead of 8. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your answer, your two solutions for number 9. I believe all the other ones, you end up with pretty nice uh, discriminant values, which means you could actually square root them, which means you'll be able to add and subtract nicely uh, that number instead of the radical.